Today's video is on jet transforms. In today's video, we are going to find out the inverse jet transforms using partial fractions. See here, the question is, we have to find out z inverse of 3z squared plus z by 5z minus 1 into 5z plus 2. For that, the first thing we have to do is, I am taking f of z as this is 3z square plus z by this value is 5z minus 1 into this value is 5z plus 2. And therefore, f of z is equal to, if I take z common from this, this will be 3z plus 1 by the value here is 5z minus 1 into this value is 5z plus 2. So, I am sending this z to other side. So, if it multiplies, it will divide to other side. So, this is f of z by z is equal to this value is 3z plus 1 by 5z minus 1 into the value here is 5z plus 2. Now, I have to resolve into partial fractions. That is f of z by z value is equal to this value is a by 5z minus 1. And next thing here is b by this is 5z plus 2. Now I have to find out the values of a and b. For finding the values of a and b, see here, this is 3z plus 1 by this is 5z minus 1 into this is 5z plus 2. So, if I take LCM for these two, this will be 5z minus 1 into this value is 5z plus 2. If I cross multiply, this will be A times of 5z plus 2 plus B times of this value is 5z minus 1. This is 3z plus 1 is equal to A times of this is 5z plus 2 plus B times of this value is 5z minus 1. Now, I am going to substitute. See here. So, if I make, if I want to make a is equal to 0, so I have to put z is equal to. Here, there is plus 2. Plus two. I need minus 2 for making it 0. So, here 5 is not necessary. So, I am dividing with this. So, if I keep z is equal to minus 2 by 5 and see what happens here. So, this will be 3 times of minus 2 by 5 plus 1 is equal to this will be 0 and this value is minus see here 5 times of minus 2 by 5 minus 1. So, if I cancel these two and see this is minus 6 by 5 plus 1 is equal to b times of this is minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 and this see here this value is minus 6 plus 5 by 5 is equal to minus 3 by b and this is minus 1 by 5 is equal to the value here is minus 3b and therefore the b value if I cancel minus on both sides and send 3 to other side this will be 3 5 is a 15 and therefore we got our b value as 1 by 15 and the next thing here is again we have to calculate the value of a for finding the a value what is needed to put in place of z. See here for finding b value we have to make this 0. Oh, now I have to find out a value. I have to make this b 0. Now I am keeping put z is equal to. See here. Now see here. This is minus 1. I need plus 1. And uh, this is 1 by 5. If I keep z is equal to 1 by 5. So b will be 0. And now. If I substitute here in this 3 times of 1 by 5 plus 1 is equal to A times of this is 5 into 1 by 5 plus 2 plus the value here is 0. So, if I cancel these two, this will be 3 by 5 plus 1 is equal to A times of this is 1 plus 2. So, if I take 5 as LCM, this will be 3 plus 5 is equal to 3a. And therefore, 8 plus 5 is equal to the value here is 3a. Therefore, a value is equal to 8 by 5, 3 is a 15. So, I got the value of a as well as b. Now, the value of a is equal to, the value of a is equal to 8 by 15. And the value of B here is, see here B I am showing, B here is 1 by 15. So, this is 1 by 15. 
this is 1 by 15. Now I need to substitute the a value and b value here. That is f of z by z is equal to the value of a. That is 5z minus 1 plus b value is 1 by 15. So in this equation if I substitute then see what happens f of z by z value is equal to in place of a I am writing 8 by 15 by this value is 5z minus 1 the b value is 1 by 15 by this value is 5z plus 2 and I am sending this z to other side and see f of z value is equal to the first thing is 8 by 15 this value is z by 5z minus 1 and I am sending this z to other side. This will be 1 by 15 times of z by this value is 5z plus 2. So if I give inverse on both sides, z inverse of f of z value is equal to, this is z inverse of 8 by 15 times of z by this value is 5z minus 1 plus 1 by 15 times of this value is z by this is 5z plus 2 and therefore see here z inverse of f of z value is equal to this value is 8 by 15 times of z inverse of z by this value is 5z minus 1 plus 1 by 15 times of z inverse of z by this is 5z plus 2 and now see here this is 8 by 15 so I am taking 5 common from this this will be z inverse of z by 5 this is z minus this value is 1 by 5 if I take this 5 common this will be z minus 1 by z and see here this is 1 by 15 if I take 5 common this will be z inverse of z by this is 5 plus this is 2 by 5. So this is z by 2 by 5 and see here now this will be 8 by 75 into z inverse of so this value is z by z minus 1 by 5 plus this is 1 by 75 times of z inverse of z by z minus of this is minus so, so this is z by z plus 2 by 3 in the next step I am going to write this as see here this is 8 by 75 times of z inverse of z by this value is z minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 75 times of z inverse of z by z minus of minus 2 by 5 clear so see if you observe this one we have a formula that z bar a bar n so z of a bar n is nothing but z by z minus a so if i send z to other side z inverse of z by z minus a value is nothing but a bar n now i am going to substitute the same thing here that is 8 by 8 by 75 times of so in place of a we have 1 by 5 so this is 1 by 5 bar n and this is 1 by 75 so this value is minus of minus so here this is minus 2 by 5 bar n and see so this value is nothing but f of z so here this is z inverse of f of z so this value is nothing but z inverse of f of z therefore z inverse of what is f of z so from the question f of z value is 3z square plus z by this is 5z minus 1 into this is 5z plus 2 is equal to if i take 75 1 by 75 common this will be 8 times of 8 into 1 by 5 bar n plus minus 2 by 5 times bar n. So this is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for watching.